Essential hypertension, atherosclerosis, coronary heart disease, cerebral thrombosis. How does modern medicine explain high blood pressure? Those various reasons cause the increase in the tension of the small arteries, which leads to the thickening of the walls of the capillaries. Causes the increase of peripheral vascular resistance and the blood pressure continues to rise, so the blood pressure reduction method is adopted. But due to slow blood flow and insufficient blood supply after blood pressure reduction, cerebral thrombosis and myocardial infarction are often caused. This is the patient who insists on taking Western medicine every day, and eventually develops into hemiplegia, senile dementia, heart transplantation. What should I do if I use chemotherapy drugs for a long time and then develop cancer? Can only wait for death. Essential hypertension, your blood vessel is blocked, you do not want to dredge, but lower blood pressure. Let the blood through bit by bit, but the blood flow is extremely slow, there will be a variety of thrombosis. The coronary arteries of the myocardium do not get enough blood, which causes atrial fibrillation, ventricular fibrillation, and heart failure. Therefore, a person's systolic blood pressure should be kept below age plus 100. In patients with essential hypertension, taking antihypertensive drugs results in vascular embolism. When are antihypertensive drugs used? Antihypertensive drugs are mainly used for pheochromocytoma, nephrotic hypertension, rheumatic hypertension. Why is cerebral thrombosis difficult to treat? Hemiplegia can be alleviated, but it cannot be completely restored to normal, because human nerve cells cannot regenerate. Even if there is collateral circulation in the cerebral blood vessels, the ischemic nerve cells have been degenerated, which cannot be recovered. Many Westerners believe that drinking a small amount of red wine every day can prevent coronary heart disease. But why did acute myocardial infarction still occur at night? After learning the methods of Mongolian doctors, I took bloodletting therapy. Whenever I encounter acute diseases such as cerebral hemorrhage, hypertensive crisis, cerebral embolism, and coronary heart disease, left arm bleeding 200 ml each time, a bleeding blood pressure will fall down, right arm infusion of saline, so you can rest assured of hemostasis. The incidence of renal arteriosclerosis is about 60%. Western medicine adopts the method of installing a stent in the renal artery. But the success rate is 86%. This kind of surgery is very risky, and there are many post-operative complications. Arteriosclerosis is a systemic disease, not a disease of a certain organ. The formation of arteriosclerosis is a long-term process which eventually leads to arteriosclerosis of various organs. For patients with mid-stage arteriosclerosis, although most patients will have palpitations, palpitation, chest pain, chest tightness, headache, dizziness, numbness in extremities, weakness in extremities, inconvenience in walking, decreased vision, decreased memory, insomnia, and dreams. But most patients choose to ignore it and let the condition continue to develop. How do you know if you have atherosclerosis? Take a mirror and look at your earlobe. If the earlobe is wrinkled, you have atherosclerosis. The main symptom of renal arteriosclerosis is relatively large urine output at night. Under normal circumstances, the elderly get up and urinate at night, one to two times as normal, and more than three times should cause attention. Elderly people with high blood pressure and no history of diabetes should go to the hospital for examinations if they find an increase in urine output at night. Atherosclerosis is extremely harmful to humans, prevention of such diseases should start from childhood. And it can easily develop in stressed encephalic laborers, obese, long-term heavy smoking, hypertensive, diabetic, and hyperlipidemic patients. The cause of increased blood lipids is eating too much animal fat. These foods include animal oil, animal fat, animal offal, egg yolk, cream, etc. Eating Chinese tofu for a long time is prone to arteriosclerosis, because it contains magnesium chloride and calcium sulfate. Chinese people like to use bones to make soup. The soup base of ramen noodles is snow white, and those are the fat of bone marrow and cannot be drunk. 
The Chinese like to fry the fish and then add water to stew it. This is also incorrect, because the soup is full of fat. Table salt cannot be used in large amounts, because large amounts of table salt will cause hardening of the arteries. The occurrence of atherosclerosis is also directly related to the body's bioelectricity. The electromagnetic field forms a high potential to affect the blood, which will lead to poor blood flow. Therefore, no matter if it is headphones, mobile phones, tablets, or laptops, do not keep in contact with the body for a long time. The elderly take care to avoid high fever and dehydration, especially not to take medicine at will. Wolfberry and cordyceps should not be eaten casually. Study and work should pay attention to the combination of work and rest, to maintain a happy mood, not to smoke, not to drink. Do not use condiments in cooking, eat more fruits, vegetables, and beans. Use soybean oil and rape oil as edible oil as much as possible. Exercise for half an hour every day, with the body sweating slightly as the standard. However, it is not suitable for strenuous exercise. The elderly mainly take a walk or do Tai Chi. Do not drink tea or eat ginseng. As long as you control your diet, you can control coronary heart disease. If there are other chronic diseases, other chronic diseases should be treated first.